Hey guys, Bill, Competition Cars. We're gonna do a cold start and driving video on the 75 Oldsmobile Starfire. Um, car has 15,000 original miles. Just an amazing car. If you guys are seeing this video on YouTube before it hits Bring a Trailer, um, I don't have a price, it's not listed on my website because it's going on Bring a Trailer, which is an online uh, auction website. It's a seven day auction. So when the auction goes live, um, I'll post in the in the comment section. I'll let you guys know and share the link so you can bid on it. But uh, like it's not it's not for sale here on the lot because it's going on to the auction. Just want to let you guys know that. Anyway, uh, we'll do a cold start video. I'm grabbing the manifold. They're ice cold. And I want you guys to look at this amazing engine bay. I mean, this thing is just brand new looking inside and out. It's a really amazing find. So let's do a cold start. Anthony, if you go around the back of the car and, and kind of show the car on this side with the natural light where the sun's at. I'll crank it up and then he'll hop in and we'll go ahead and uh, take it for a spin. Alright, got the six cylinder engine. So it fires right up, no skipping, no hesitation, no smoking. Just a really cool car. That's just pretty much the sister to the Chevy Monza. Beautiful straight body. It's got a one-time repaint. Pretty quality repaint. Interior's original. Under the hood looks amazing like, like you saw. The wheels, tires are all in good shape. So let's hop in and go for a ride. The car is mainly original. It does have an aftermarket Kenwood radio in it. Should shut, turn that down. 15,148 miles on it. Lights work, wipers work, e-brake works, horn works. Everything works as it should, except we found out the hard way, the, um, the fuel tank or fuel gauge is incorrect. It's showing a full tank of gas and uh, we actually ran it out of gas because we thought it was full. So I put a full tank in it now, so it's only had maybe two or three miles put on it since the uh, since the gas was put in, so you'll just have to kind of track it by the mileage. Or maybe you could try to fix it. I don't know if it's a sending unit. I'm not going to bother with it. It's too nice a car to start sending it to the shop. Uh, but the car drives great. I mean, you can tell it's a 15,000 mile car. The dash is perfect. A lot of these older Monsters and Starfires, over time, these dashes got cracked. The seats got cracked. Um, a lot of wear and tear on these interiors, but not on this one. This one's good to go. Um, Brains in pretty good shape. I mean, just a really nice straight car. Love the steering wheel. Good looking steering wheel. Power brakes. And once it warms up, I'll step on it a little bit. It, is, it does have a six cylinder, but I tell you what, it's pretty stout. For, I mean, I say stout. It, it's got really respectable power uh, because it is a fairly small car. Signals work, wipers work, headlights. drive good very tight very solid and the brakes stops nice and smooth no shakes or shimmies in the wheel as you can see paint across the hood see how nice that paint looks we'll turn around up here in just a second i just want to take it on the road and see so you guys can see how good it performs um i guess this clock is not working either we'll call the clock not working it's, it's not or anything so the clock doesn't work amp gauge is right tack is right speedometer is right odometer is right temperature gauge seems to be working correctly so we're going to turn around up here and um zip back the lot and i'll step on it now that it's probably warm enough to step on 
I like driving these cars hard when they're when they're cold.